All right. Welcome back, students. So this is going to be part two of our uh, lesson on uh, bacteria and viruses and white blood cells. We're going to continue our drawing. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a dark marker, okay, or something else along that lines. could be a black colored pencil. It could be a black crayon. It depends on what you have at home. But ultimately, you what you're going to do is you're going to take your Sharpie or your marker and you're going to outline all the things that you had drawn. And this is going to make them very clear and pop out and very easy to color inside of. Okay, so I'm working on my bacteria and it's all its tentacles and I'm adding a little more as I go, which is totally okay if you wanna do that. Okay, so there's the shape of mine. I'm also going to do all of the little organs and other fun inside parts and outline those as well. And then I'm gonna work on my white blood cell up here. All right, so I'm gonna change mine a little bit here because I want it to look like the white blood cell is coming out and it wants to begin eating the bacteria because yet again, the white blood cell is kind of the hero of this drawing, right? He is helping to protect our bodies from viruses and bacteria. All right. Okay, so there's my outline of my white blood cell. Now I'm gonna draw all the little organs inside of my white blood cell that I had drawn before. Okay, so here we go. Remember, you can still use the visual reference from the last project. Okay. going to add as many of these as I had drawn originally. Okay, last is the big organ shape in the center of our white blood cell. Okay, just like that. All right, now I've got everything outlined. And we are now ready for our next step, which is coloring it in. All right, so uh, I'm personally going to use some crayons for this project, but you can use whatever you want. Uh, the fun of this project is the fact that, you know, this is a interpretation of these very tiny things inside of our body and we don't exactly know what they look like and so this is where our artistic interpretation and fun comes out uh, so i'm going to make this all sorts of fun and crazy colors and uh, i'm going to blend a lot of my colors to make it really interesting now in a lot of like real pictures uh, of bacteria and other things under a microscope a lot of these things are so tiny, they're like transparent. And if you think about it, they they swim through our bodies, right? In the various liquids in our bodies. And so they have to be able to uh, be super tiny and move through those things. And so we're just going to kind of have some fun and use lines to make cool different patterns and textures in all these different spaces. Uh, and it'll come up and turn into a really fun and exciting drawing. Okay, for example, I'm gonna take my blue here and inside my white blood cell up here, I'm going to do a, a zigzag pattern just to give it a little bit more interest, make it a little more exciting. Okay, and the fun part of this is you can kind of make it however you want. 
There aren't any real good rules for this. Just make some fun, exciting lines. You can even use different things that will turn into what we would consider patterns. Okay, so that's in there. I'm also going to take a uh, orange color. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to color in the sides only of here and then blend it with some different colors. And so when we blend things, okay, you're gonna go on top of the color. And the idea is you can press hard or you can press lightly. And the harder you press, the darker that color will be. The lighter you press, okay, the lighter that color will be. So if I take this red and I blend it into my orange here, I'm not pressing hard at all. I just wanna add just a little blend and glow of red in my orange here. And it kind of makes a really fun looking effect over top of my orange. My orange was very bright, as you can tell. It's almost like neon. Yeah, this one's called Atomic Tangerine. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go around these and I'm gonna do the same type of thing. I'm pressing really hard towards the edges where it's black and then loosening up as I go towards the middle and then adding my red. All right, so we're gonna skip forward to a different part real quick to show you how I'm gonna do different sections because I don't expect you to watch all a uh, super long video of me drawing this all in, but I'm gonna do the bacteria down here, okay? So I'm gonna kind of stay with blues and oranges. So I'm gonna kind of stay in that same kind of color palette. Hi. So for my bacteria, I'm going to make him a different color of blue here. As you can all hear, my son is saying hi to me through the door. <laughs> Silly guy. And so I'm going to color just the outside edge in the tentacles with this blue color. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to blend some different colors into it to make it look kind of cool and interesting. See, I got out of lines there too. No one is ever perfect when they're drawing. So let me make sure I pointed that out. Sometimes that does happen. Okay. All right. So now I got him. Now inside, I'm going to go back to my orange. And I'm going to make these kind of crazy squiggly lines all throughout the inside, kind of behind some of my shapes. Okay. All throughout it. Just these crazy squigglies that are going to add some other visual interest. Okay. Now I'm going to go to a different color. And I'm going to go to this kind of pinkish purple color. And I'm going to color in some of these little organs with that. You can go really crazy with your colors on this. Like I said, this is just a fun kind of artistic rendering of these different very tiny things that you can only see with a regularly with a microscope okay so i'm gonna fill those in and then finally what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a, a dark purple and i'm gonna blend the outside edge just like we were talking about before so i'm gonna start here and just add some purple in here press really hard on some areas to get that dark purple in there on the edges and get a lot of that in there make it look fun all right and the final thing i'm going to show you is the colors that i am going to choose for the outside edge of my little white blood cell here no, well, I shouldn't say little. It's kind of big. So I'm going to go yet again back to blues. 
Okay, I'm gonna go with this one, slightly different blue color. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to create a blend. This is where you're gonna see it. I'm pressing really light here, and as I get to the edge, really dark. And I'm gonna do this all around the outside edge, but only the outside edge, and I'm gonna leave it white on the inside. Okay, just like this. And as I go out, and you can try this as well, just press lighter. Press really hard on the edge, really, really hard, lighter as I fade out, okay? And as you practice this, you kind of learn how to control how hard you press, and that's really one of a really important thing to learn in art, is how hard you're gonna press on things. Okay. All right, that's all I'm gonna do on that piece, but now I'm gonna come back in with a different color. And this time, I'm gonna switch to a green color. I'm gonna pick a darker green, okay? See if I can find one. Here's a good one. And I'm gonna mix some of that in. Oh, actually, this turned out to be a lighter green, not a darker green. So it's actually gonna mix with that blue and kind of make a teal color, even more teal than it was before. So that's an interesting thing. I thought that was a light, a, a dark green color, and it wasn't. Sometimes that'll happen. Happy accident, because this looks really cool. It's a nice blend of colors. Okay. And then after that, you can add any other details. You can add little floating objects in your in any of these things. You can color the outside any color you want. I'm probably going to go with this blue color and just make a nice kind of scribble for the background areas while still kind of keeping the white blood cell, uh, the white of the paper. It's kind of what I want to go for. Uh, all right, students, I know this was a long one. I hope you have fun with this and enjoy this, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.